Yes, guys, we are back for the Logan Paul and Dillian. Oh, man, last time I said that wrong and you guys were onto me in the comments. We are back for the Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis face off. Now, I can't lie. That press conference was crazy. Very, very crazy. But we are back and I, 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 I can't imagine what's going to happen. I can't imagine what's going to happen. Logan Paul is going to address the online beef. Good, bro. Still now, if I go on Twitter, Dylan Dennis is still posting Logan Paul's wife. Bro, he needs some respect. This is crazy. But let's watch this. Let's get straight into this. Don't forget, if you guys are new here, please subscribe. I am going to be following this whole fight. Every single video, every single live action is going to be captured on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe and leave a like on the video. Right, let's get into this. Howdy. Welcome to London. Thanks, bro. How do you feel? I feel good. Uh, yeah. I, I'm glad Dylan showed up to the face-to-face. -face. He looks so it calm. Seems like he actually might come to the fight, which Wait, excites Wait, didn't, um, didn't turn up? Oh, yeah, he didn't turn up. the press <gasps> conference overall. Calm, happy. Oh, my goodness. Collected, ready to slaughter this man. Has he gone too far on Twitter? <laughs> has it affected you? Really? I think he has. He's gone too far. He has. He has gone too far. He's taken the... Gone too far, yeah. It's not affected me, no, because it's when I gap. entered this fight, I knew Dylan was a scumbag. Um, wow. I didn't take, think he'd take it as far as he did. But, you know, actions have consequences. I think he's going to get what's coming to him. I think the people... Bro, why does this man always have a prime bowl? I bet you that... Look, the prime bowl isn't even open. Why does he always... Does he even drink this? Why does he always have a prime bottle in his hand? I get it's marketing, but at some point, you know, Logan, everybody knows you do prime. You know what I'm saying? Online are speaking for me. Me and my girl don't have to defend ourselves or try to prove our love for the world. Like, my fiance is a fucking angel. He's twisted the narrative of her relationship <laughs> with long-term boyfriends getting paparazzi over the course of her adult life. Wow. And he's good. He's a good Twitter troll. But uh, again, he gonna pay for it. Damn. Damn. Bro said he's gonna pay for it, you know? Okay, okay, okay. Let me know in the comments section. Are you not like Team Logan or Team Dylan? Let me know. Let me know. I want to see some. Will you be able to control the personal feeling and emotion that he has maybe stirred up when mm. you get in the ring and you have to stay professional good question i don't i don't uh, fight with emotion you know i don't i don't even to be honest like i don't care about dylan dennis i i don't he's like a i don't know he's just such an afterthought so yeah i'm definitely gonna be able to control my emotions he, it's just, he's just the person in front of me for this fight mm. and he's doing a good job building it up Bez. what kind of fight do you see playing out i know you said you want to you want it to go a few rounds so you can put a beat down. Yeah. On it. Do you think that's the, fight, the, the kind of fight that's going to... You know, um, we'll see how this fight plays out. I, I, I honestly think I could do whatever I want to him. He's a, he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy, and he's not even good at that. I don't know how he thinks he's going to box. Like, striking is his worst forte. Wow. Uh, I've been boxing for five years. Went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Floyd Mayweather. 0-1. Like, that should say enough, you know, about how good I am. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, he's so full of himself, isn't it, chat? Like, 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 what, like, what? Nah, this guy, man. Like, that should say enough, you know, about how good I am. <laughs> this guy, man. Fuck. <laughs> oh, he's drinking the prime. Go on, drink it. Let's, let's talk about, I, I want to speak Cheers. about your boxing. Oh, the ball is open. You mentioned the that was a half sip, though. Obviously, the, before that, I'm the high-profile KSI fight. Yeah. Who was a tougher fighter? KSI or Floyd Mayweather? Ooh. Mm. Who's tougher? KSI or Floyd Mayweather? Honestly, KSI. KSI. Was that hard to fight? Yeah, yeah, wow. it was. He he's just a dog. Like he he has this tenacity and this intensity that I've never seen. Like when you're in the ring with him, he wants to kill you. Mm. It, it's it's the only thing he cares about. He can't lose. He made a documentary called Can't Lose, and I think he really, really mm. believes that in his heart. And so he tries as hard as he can. I think Floyd Mayweather knew he wasn't gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about balancing wrestling and boxing how do the two impede one another trying to train yeah for one another how mm. do they complement one another yeah i forgot that, you did that as well question, the, boxing, uh, uh, the wrestling thing now that i'm a professional wrestler damn you know a wwe superstar i gotta find the balance um between switching training for the two different sports because they're vastly different they also have a lot of similarities uh my promo game has improved because of the wwe i embrace being a heel but uh, typically, I train boxing. To be honest, I don't. I don't. Mm. I don't train wrestling that much, which is again why I, I'm. 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 I admire Dylan's confidence because ah. I've been training boxing for the past two years. I just haven't had a fight. 
right? Mm -hmm. But I've been doing it. I've been doing the sparring. I've gotten so much better. I have the confidence of beat or going with the greatest boxer of all time. And that changes a person. And I think Dylan's in for a fucking surprise that night. Yo! I think that's what you say. Ah, that okay. Is mentally more taxing yeah. than boxing. Does that does that still hold? Now you're getting towards a, a boxing fight with someone like Dylan who is taking up so much time on Twitter to, to, to get under your skin. For sure. I so yeah, I think I think wrestling is definitely more taxing than boxing and like people will have their opinions about it, but I've I've been in both sports and I can tell you for sure when you have to worry about entertaining fifty thousand people versus beating up one guy in front of you it's way harder mm. and like the twitter noise bro understand this i've been the most hated person in the world at one point mm. like really maybe more than one point yeah. survived all of it made my personal changes had the comeback I, I i thought i could because i knew i could be a better person and i can really viscerally understand that this too shall pass and so all this internet chatter online noise like yo if you put your phone down Social media does not exist. Mm. It's not a real place. And I get that. And it's good. It's good promo for the fight. Let me talk about your personal relationships First? with both JJ and Jake. How is it being so close to both of those guys? Wait, I, hold I on. You... This ain't even a face off. I thought this was the face off. It's just Logan Paul addressing his behavior. <laughs> get asked that a lot. How um, is that? It, su it sucks, to be honest. It sucks. It sucks being in the position that I'm in. Um, and I know a lot of people have different opinions about this, but man, I, I had my arc with JJ, you know, I had my arc and by the time we were doing prime and, um, he had beaten me like him and Jake's beef hadn't gotten to the uh, violent place it is now. And so I think now more than ever, it's really rubbing Jake the wrong way. And I empathize with that too, cause he's mm -hmm. my brother. And like, I happen to make amends with the person who I once had beef with and started this company with and like I, I'm in the middle of it and I, I I don't know I don't know what to do to be honest like and I'd prefer to have this conversation off camera with Jake like too Damn. much of our life is being lived online and we've made this mistake before and I'm sad that we didn't learn from it but like me and Jake got to figure out we got we got to figure this out offline it's not a good place to have conversations about mm, okay motherhood in front mm -hmm. of the entire world Fair play. Fair. Fair, play. Fair, um, fair play. Let's move back to boxing then. I, I saw you talking about the fights that are coming up and you say that maybe Tommy Fury could be a potential opponent for you. He's been in here talking yeah. about you and Jake and KSI. Yeah. Win or lose against KSI, is Tommy something that realistically could happen? Yeah, mm. yeah. look, um, I would love to fight Tommy Fury. I would love to fight Tommy Fury. I also understand that my brother wants to get back at Tommy Fury and I, I have to respect that. And I, I think... I think at one point I, I really wanted that fight, you know, but if my, if my little brother wants to, wants to get his revenge on Tommy, I totally get that as well. Mm. And, and maybe, maybe I could pivot. Maybe I could fight McGregor after, after I beat Dylan. Damn. Okay. Um, I don't know, bro. This boxing. Who would stuff. win though? Between, who would win? Logan Paul or Conor McGregor? <laughs> I can't lie. I think Conor McGregor smoking Logan Paul respectfully, man respectfully there's like four of us in the space who are like making noise and we're like worthy of headlining these events and one of them was my brother one of them was my friend and business partner <laughs> the other one's tommy fury <laughs> <laughs> it's it's funny you mentioned connor we, we saw connor the other night and i asked the same question to him and he said quote i'd slap the nose off his face <laughs> when we're speaking to logan paul what would your reaction <laughs> to that be? i'd like to see him attempt to slap the nose off my face Conor McGregor's an average MMA fighter and a horrible boxer. I'm going to beat the shit out of his bitch Dylan, and then I'm going to beat the shit out of him. But he ghosts me, bro. He won't even bet a million on his fighter. That's Trump change for a guy like Conor. He won't even bet a million dollars on Dylan. Damn. He had nothing to say when I called him out on Twitter. So you think he's going to step in there himself? I don't know. It feels unlikely. But I swear he just said this like, it's not even a social media thing, but I hear it, though. I hear what he's saying, though. Final question then, rounds off nicely when we come back to Dylan Dennis. Give me your prediction for what happens on Fight Night. Mm. Prediction for Dylan Dennis, whatever the fuck I want. If I wake up that day, I want to make him go three rounds, I'll make him go three rounds. If I wake up that day, I want to go four rounds, I'll go four rounds. If I want to take him out with body shots, if I want to break his ribs, if I want to break his nose, if I want to piece him up one by one, rearrange his face, 
delicately, surgically. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do in Dennis, October 14th. Prime car, baby. Oh, my days. Drink Prime. Damn. That's he a loves great it. Promo. You've certainly been working on that. October 14th. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We cannot wait. Logan Paul, thank, thank you, you very much. Nah. Thank you, thank you. Love's great when we make up And your friends trying to break up No, I don't do breaks, no, no I love you right, I will I love you right, I will I love you like